This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Hey guys, what is up? Back with another video. Hope everyone is having a great day today. Sorry that we're in the kitchen today. I know it echoes a little bit in here, but it is a terrible day outside and it is really dark and cloudy everywhere else. And this is the only room that I can get good enough lighting to film it. But today we are going to be taking a look at my top 10 picks for basketball sneakers under the price of $150. This is one that I got a lot of requests to do and one that I've been wanting to do myself for a while. I did my top 10 casual sneakers for under $100, part one and part two. So if you guys would like to watch those, links in the top right hand corner of the screen but lots of people are asking can you do it for basketball shoes and I thought that would be a great idea one thing I do want to say before I get into it though is that lots of these shoes in fact almost all of these shoes I have not personally played basketball in but that does not mean that I can't say whether they perform good or not I play basketball a lot I talk to people that I play with about their shoes how they're liking them I watch a lot of performance reviews online and if you're like me and you bought the amount of shoes that you have you get to know the technologies and and the different cushioning systems, the different lockdown systems, and you can tell if a shoe is going to perform good before you even try it on. If you guys would like to purchase any of the shoes that you see in this video, there will be links in the description. But without further ado, let's get into number one. All right, so for number one, we're picking one that is probably one of the most popular basketball shoes of this year. It is the Under Armour Curry 2. If you walk into a gym of around 20 people, I guarantee you four or five of them will be wearing the Curry 2s. It's an amazingly popular shoe, and I've heard nothing but good things about them from everyone that wears them. I know tons of people that wear this shoe. Probably the most worn shoe among my friends and people that I play basketball with. Seems to be very popular and for the price of only $130, I would definitely recommend them. First off, it's the signature shoe of the best player in the world right now. And second off, it is an amazing performing shoe from what I have heard. So number one is the Under Armour Curry 2. Moving on to the second one, this is a shoe that I have played in for a while and I have had a lot of enjoyment playing in. The cushioning on these is amazing. It is the D-Row 773 Four. So this is the takedown model of the D-Rose line. It's a cheaper version. They retail for $110, except you can get them right now for only $80, but sizes are actually going pretty quick now that they've discounted them to $80. So if you guys would like to get these, I would recommend hopping on them ASAP. I love the bounce cushioning in this. It's basically the best thing you can get besides Boost. It's a very springy, uh, lots of energy return type foam. Your foot's not going to sink into it, except it still is going to have that cushioned feel. It's a great feeling when you're playing in it. I absolutely love it. The traction is very good as well, and I have nothing but good things to say about the 7734. The next one we're taking a look at is another pair of roses. If you guys love rose and you love the bounce cushioning in the 7734, but you have a little bit extra money, I would definitely recommend the Adidas D Row 6. This is a shoe that I'm definitely taking a look at and I might be picking up a pair in the near future simply because of that Boost cushioning. Everyone knows about Boost, everyone knows how comfortable it is, and now they put it on a basketball shoe. This is not the first basketball shoe they've had it on, except it's the signature line for Derrick Rose. It's a great looking sneaker. The cushioning on it is amazing, not only under your foot with the Boost, but around the ankle and the tongue. It's an amazing, amazing performing shoe. I've heard nothing but good things from them. I know tons of people that play in them once again, and you can get them for only $110 with the link in the description. Switching things up to Jordan brand, we actually have the Jordan Superfly 3. This is a shoe that I haven't seen too many people playing in, but everything I've heard about this shoe has been very good. From that unlock zoom to the flight plate or flight whatever they call it now they changed the name from flight plate but it's a very good performing sneaker obviously this is the shoe that blake griffin wears in the nba it's a bit more of a bulky shoe than the previous two shoes that we took a look at but it's nothing too crazy like you can play in it no matter what position you play on the court you're not going to really suffer even if you're a guard that does a lot of cuts and stuff, it's not that bulky that you're gonna have any problems. You can get them right now for only $126. While that's a little bit more expensive than the D Roses, I'd say it's still a great deal. We're on to probably, in my mind, one of the best deals of this list, the Nike LeBron Soldier 9. This is the takedown model for LeBron, so it's a much more affordable shoe, but the past few years, the Soldier models have performed much better than the top tier, like LeBron 12, LeBron 13, and lots of people have been raving about them, and these are available for only $95. There are some great colorways of them. This purple one is beautiful. There's a wheat one, of course there's a pink one. You guys know I love my pink. And for only $95, I really don't think you can 
go wrong with them. I have thought about picking up a pair of these for a long time. I actually did pick up a pair of them, but I ended up returning them simply because I felt that I could get a better deal down the road, but these are a great sneaker, especially for the price of $95. Speaking of $95, we have another Adidas sneaker, the Crazy Light Boost Prime Knit for only $95. This is an amazing sneaker. I know a few people that have played in this one as well, and I've heard nothing but good things. Prime Knit is a crazy material on a pair of basketball sneakers, something I am very eager to try out. And of course, you have your Boost in the heel, which we all know is going to be great for that impact protection. Only $95 on these. The retail is $120, but now that they've been marked down to $95, the sizes are going very, very quick. So I would recommend picking them up as soon as possible if you guys are interested. I think they're a great shoe, especially for that price. All right, switching things up, back to Nike. The Nike Hyper Rev 2016. This is a shoe that I've taken a lot of looks at. There are some freaking sweet colorways of it especially this pink one right here. You guys know I love my pink, but there's also some other nice colorways. This red one here is beautiful. There's a white and gold one, but we don't care about the colors, we care about the performance. This thing is an amazing performer from everyone that I've heard. This is, next to the Under Armour Curry 2, probably the most worn sneaker among people that I play basketball with. Tons of people are wearing these. They retail for only $110, so a very affordable sneaker. And I guarantee you that in the next couple months, they'll be going on sale for under $100 which at that point you just can't beat. I would definitely recommend them. Lots of my friends would definitely recommend them. The Nike Hyper Rev 2016. Back to Adidas with another signature shoe. It's not a Derrick Rose, it's a Damian Lillard. The D Lillard 2 is only $105 and in many people's minds is one of the best performing sneakers of 2016 so far. I think they look aesthetically great, especially in this all red Rose City colorway and they are an amazing performer from what I can tell. Once again, they have that boost cushioning, which as I said, I've already played in, and I love the boost cushioning. Extremely, extremely comfortable, and the traction pattern is supposed to be very good. The lockdown is supposed to be very good. It's just a great shoe overall, especially for the fact that it only goes for $105, which is mind-blowing, considering that Nike puts out very similar products for around $60 to $70 more. The penultimate shoe on the list actually is another pair of Nikes. This is a very, very affordable option. I wanted to stick in two shoes at the end here that you could get if you are on a budget and do not have a lot of money to play basketball in a pair of sneakers, but you definitely need a pair of sneakers for basketball. These are gonna be your best options in my mind. This one right here, the Nike Hyper Chase, is only $70, so that's a great price right there. It's a very low cut shoe. The lockdown is pretty good. I have tried these on in store, walked around in them a little bit, did a couple cuts. The fly wire on them really locks your foot in. Some people that don't like low tops might not be a huge fan of these, but I would definitely recommend them. The traction is supposed to be very good on these as well. And for only $70, that is actually an outrageously good price in my opinion. And wrapping these up with another shoe that is only $70, we have the Nike Kobe Mentality 2. Now, whether you're buying the Kobe Mentality 2 or the Kobe Mentality 1, they're both essentially the same shoe with the same traction pattern and same cushioning system, just a slightly different upper material. The Mentality 1 features a a fuse material and the Mentality 2 features an engineered mesh with fuse on high wear areas but besides that they're essentially the same shoe. They only retail at $100 so right away you're already talking a great price for a basketball sneaker and now they are on sale for only $70 which is even better. I've heard people say that these are actually better than the top tier Kobe model especially in the traction department so that is amazing considering that you're paying less than half of the retail price for a Kobe 11 or a Kobe 10 Elite Low. So that is going to wrap up my top top 10 basketball sneakers for under $150, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, let me know of any sneakers you feel that I missed on the list. Keep in mind, they are under $150, so Kobe 11s, Jordan 30s, and stuff like that weren't able to be put on this list because of the price restrictions. But anyway, guys, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. So until then, peace.